back if you're joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time. Hello! Well, I finally got the doll haul over the last few months processed and that went up and you guys love that. I think at this point in time it's like 320 views on the first video and 100 and something on the second one. There is the My Little Ponies to go through. Now with My Little Pony Generation 4 going into... Um, finally finishing it was so wonderful did you cry at the end season episode we cried we absolutely cried it's been a wonderful season over the years um it's been something that's been amazing and that it's attracted boys to the show as much as it has girls <laughs> and i have been stock taking rather than putting all the different toys into one marketplace lot i know that some of you asked me can I just do a lot of such and such a toy and I said okay so I started stockpiling things unfortunately what it means is they go into this big pile and then I keep adding to the pile and I forget I've got to try and film them <laughs> I think it took me three hours to do the doll haul so I have it here a lot of these will be double ups for me I don't mind when it comes to my little ponies I actually prefer to have double ups because if there's something I'm always requested um since I don't sell my toys I'm always requested for custom ponies or um, for trades of ponies because they are so incredibly collectible. So I'm going to go through this. Some of them I won't remember what I've paid. I will always try and identify down the bottom. Uh, that's another reason for these videos is to help you see if your pony's in here and <laughs> maybe you'll see your pony and finally work out what it is. Um, Strawberry Reef, I believe, is the website I use for most of my identifications. It's amazing. It's fabulous. Um, I'll put it down in my description below. Okay, so uh, let's get to it. Now, um, from my most recent haul, um, in New Zealand especially, when it comes towards Christmas time, the thrift stores get overloaded with toys after Christmas. Basically, kids open their new toys and all the and they want their new stuff and their stuff in the toy box all gets thrown to the thrift stores so they try and get rid of it just before Christmas so as with the church sale which uh, store which had 90% of all its toys my local thrift store for the Salvation Army had 50% off everything in store there was people everywhere buying paintings and furniture and all sorts of stuff so of course I went for the toys <laughs> So the first one I'm going to uh, start off with, and you can see the see the date, 13th of the 12th here, was $4.50. So I got this large size Fluttershy for $2.25. Pretty sure I have all the large ponies now. Now $4 to $5 New Zealand is standardly what as a standard of what I pay for these second hand. I wouldn't pay any more of those, um, any more than that. Um, to be quite honest, I don't think they're worth $5. I think $4 is fine on the secondhand market. But these are always in high demand for customs. Um, I put them aside and, uh, you know, sometimes we do customs ourselves. So, Fluttershy to start it. <laughs> and she's a lovely one to start off with. Yep, let's go to this rarity. All right. Um, do we have this rarity? I Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have this rarity. I think we have most of the generation four. So this girl here, I think, she, oh, okay, when you, yeah, when you put her legs up, <laughs> she's kind of gimmicky, her eyes and she, oh, that's very rarity, isn't it? Oh, hello, darlings. Oh, that's what you do. You, you, you click her back legs together and she puts her hoof up and she bats her eyes at you. Oh, darling. <laughs> she doesn't have a price tag on. Generally, for around this size, I pay anything from 2 to $3, which I think is fair enough. I'll bring her up closer. There she is. Hello, darling. That is so rarity. Look at that. That is so rarity. She's actually one of my favorite characters. Hello, darling. What you doing? Sorry you can't get through. <laughs> Why is that song? Well, sticking with Rarity, this pony I got for $4. And I think there's quite a few big ones in here. Ah! They are doing their, what I call their market pace rotation. They came out in the stores originally at New Zealand, $20 each. And um, yeah, so you'll see here a price tag for $4, which is about what I like to pay for these. So she needs a bit of a scrub. Um, if anything, white base ponies are so sought after because white is the easiest color to customize and, you know, it's rarity, so everybody loves rarity. Some people are so-so on Fluttershy, I find. Um, 
I know there's a whole YouTube channel that uh, dedicated to My Little Pony and the guy always is putting down poor little Fluttershy saying how boring she is and I think no, nah, there, there was a space for Fluttershy. Alright, so we've got our first Generation 3 I'm bringing up here. This is a full leg art wisteria with the happy smile. I like this one. And again, I have it. But again, my prices for Generation 3 standard size is, is basically $1 to $3. Unless it's something I don't have, which can be rare for me to get. But uh, yeah. She's cute, and I actually quite like her. I only have one of her, so I want two. <laughs> Not swapping that one. There we go. Oh, this is um, this is actually one I don't have, and this is why I'm so excited. So this is a Generation Three. I don't know her name, but I will research her. And her back legs move. So I was like, when I saw this, I was like, what, 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 what? I do not have you. Why do I not have you? So she can sit down. I don't know why I have a real um I'm a real sucker for the original ponies that were in the sitting pose I don't know why they haven't brought any out in that since so here she is she's got like a looks like a fruit ice cream sundae sorry I don't have my acrylics done today so my nails are looking shocking <laughs> excuse me nails but yeah she's lovely I love her and it's because I don't have her all right Oh, okay. So this little pony, um, I believe I picked her up for 50 cents. And you will see why I paid so little for this little star song. She has seen better days. Pencil marks on her face are nothing. But if you look at the front hoof here, it looks like something's chewed on her like a dog. I don't know why people let little animals near toys. Because that's what they do. They chew with their teeth and they ruin things. <laughs> um... It's a beautiful star song. Thank goodness we have her. She is going to be used as a custom base. And for 50 cents, it's fine. Okay, so this is one of the ones I got in the 50% off sale. So I only paid 50 cents for her. Uh, again, we already have her. I recognize that symbol. But she's really cute colors. And she's a really good trade pony. So I'm going to keep her. Her. All right, so we have this little generation one pony here. Is this a firefly? I can't remember. Is this a firefly? I believe I got this one in a bag in a lot with a whole bunch of other ponies. She's not really in bad condition. Um, slightly glitter loss there. She just kind of needs, um, she's got finger dirt on her, so she just kind of needs a scrub. But yeah, really happy about this one. I love generation my little ponies. They're the best. Okay, on to an egghead pony. So, when My Little Pony, the movie, just before it came out, they changed the mold of the ponies, which is why these Generation 4 heads are so sought after now, um, and moved them into this rather bulbous looking thing. I know they were trying to catch the anime style, but I don't think I've seen any character and they were given the um, nickname Eggheads. Now, we actually don't have this rarity. I didn't really invest much in getting the new bulbous head ones because um, I knew they were going to go through the market really fast because nobody really liked them. So this is the mermaid rarity from the movie where she like, turns into a sea pony. She's like, look at her face. Ah, I'm so happy. So I paid a dollar for her and she has a little skirt. <laughs> um, I'm still not sure how I feel about these ponies. I kind of like them and I kind of think they're silly at the same time. All right, for 50 cents, we have a my daughter's favorite one Cadence, Princess Cadence. So cute. Love the shining armor, Cadence Romance. That's one of the smaller ones. Kind of ponytown size. Uh, let's go here. Oh, we have a Generation Chibi Pony. So this is Generation 3.5. And I believe this is a Cheerilee. Most definitely have this one. Where they kind of made them have big heads and really... D not in proportion bodies. Look at the size of the hoofs to the body. <laughs> Someone has elephantitis in her hoofs. No! <laughs> but she's still really cute and um I do I do not really like all the changes to my little pony I think eggheads are the ones I'm really really so so on but um yeah I, I don't think there was many fans of the chibi type ponies 
Okay, so this is Pony City, which is either Generation 3 or Generation 3, 4, 5. I can't remember. I think it's Generation 3. I got her for 50 cents. And this is a Rainbow Dash. Very different from the Rainbow Dash we're used to in the Ramon show in that she is an Earth Pony. But, uh, and I believe in Generation 3 from memory, she's quite darling. A bit more heartthrobbish from Generation 1 than she is the sporty go-getter type like Firefly <laughs> but um you know everybody loves the generation 4 ones but it's interesting how much they changed her personality so uh, the carriage um, when it comes to these things 50 cents to a dollar but I have so many carriages that are missing this I think I have four carriages missing these silly little birds on the front um, so when I saw this one with the birds, I think I only paid 50 cents. It would have been 50 cents or a dollar. I was really excited. So as it rolls along, the birds go up and down. Like they're kind of like they're pulling along the cart. You know, this big heavy cart with a big heavy horse in. And these tiny little wings are carrying the horse. Not very realistic, but you know, it's, it's super cute. And who could say no to something so darling so let's get along oh I think this is rarity from generation 3 who I've picked up and that was a dollar uh, did I get this one in the 50% off sale no I didn't so this is a rarity um, you can see the dollar sign there uh, lots of hay in her thing um, yeah she's she needs a good brush her head is slightly discolored to her body, but this is this is a common thing with um, with My Little Ponies. So Rarity was a pink unicorn with rainbow mane with sparkles all over. And from memory in the show, she was quite babyish. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a long time since I've watched the Generation 3 ones. I actually like Generation 2 ponytails, but so many people hated them. I don't know why they hated it so much. I think it was kind of an introduction to Generation 4 and making the ponies live in a town and have a... Kind of like a town environment, a city environment, where they actually had personalities and had to have businesses and work and stuff like this. I don't think that Generation 2 ponytails gets the credit it does. Um, and I wish that someone would make a comparison between the two showing how the similarities of how it went into Generation 4 because Generation 3 was just babyish. It was really babyish. But uh, yeah, she's taking off <laughs> in that cabin and that thing there. That is a Lego piece. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, let's go. Oh, we've got a McDonald's one. Uh, this one is just going to go in the bin. Um, I'm sure you can see why. The McDonald's, My Little Ponies, the these little chubby ones the plastic over time gets this white stuff on and this one started to discolor with all this yucky I brought it like this in a in a lot I believe um I'm not gonna customize her so you know what I'm not gonna throw her out I'll just give her back to the Sally store some little lovely will like her they'll just give her away free what have we got we have a rainbow dash we have a rainbow dash times two um 50 cents so this one is missing her wings and this one has her wings. So this is a perfect example of buying something for 50 cents and using it for a custom. It, no one's going to care since it's got its, she must have had like those, um, there was ones that had like wings you could insert in and butterfly wings and all sorts of different wings. Uh, this one goes with the app. Um, if you want to know about the app pony, you can tell just by on the hoof. There is this symbol which you scan with your, um, with your tablet or smartphone and they Astra actually played the game for a while so that is the app one and I think that's one of the like the fairy wing rainbow dashes alrighty so we'll go up here to a generation one. Oh, it's a moon 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 something <laughs> I've been sewing so many toys she is missing and she is missing her moon 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 this is a common problem with these types of generation ones let's bring her up Okay, I think I only paid a dollar for her. I don't think I paid two dollars for her because she has muck in her tail. But more so than that, and I'm not worried about these marks. These marks are actually, they look like nail polish, so they'll come off with acetone. Um, her face is actually really nice. What really worries me is that her moon is, is missing. And if you look closely, you can see there is the outline of her moon. And I think her moon's either a purple, silver, or blue. 
it's one of those three. It actually looks like it's a silver. So in order to repair this, I have to get some glitter paint um, and paint it on after I've fixed all her other problems. So it's not a huge issue. It's just one of those annoying things that needs to be done. But yeah, generation one pony and for a dollar, I don't mind. Okay, what am I gonna do next? This little lovely. Okay, this little lovely I paid 50 cents for. She has issues, which is why I only paid 50 cents for it. Again, they're all issues that I can take care of. There is a light marking here. It is a green pen, so that'll just come off with acetone. Um, there are some pencil marks, so just a good rub and scrub. The only thing I'm worried about is on her bottom hoof here is ACB. That is gonna be the annoying thing to get rid of. Um, I don't want to put her in sunlight. A big problem with Generation 3 ponies and sunlight is you can already see in some of their heads to their bodies is their plastic changes. Now, I made a huge mistake with a pony I was storing. Again, at some time it's trial and error. I covered her in a zit cream, for, um, which is a common way of getting stains out of the thing. I made the stupid mistake of um, not testing it under the hoofs. Under the hoofs is a great weird taste to see if it's just going to lighten it. I covered the marks. Again, a silly, mis a beginner's mistake because anyone that's restored toys will know that a lot of people recommend zit cream. It'll get it out. It'll get it out. It'll get it out. But because they haven't gone the long process of looking after the toy, they don't realize that zit cream, you have to be very, very careful with the plastic. It still lightens even when you clean it off. So you can go back to that pony that you got beautifully looking um, <laughs> months beforehand, but you left it way too late um, out in the sun and you will go back and find a Dalmatian pony. Again, nobody can give you the right dose. So my recommendation is if you really want to restore the pony, cover the entire body except the painted areas in the zit cream and put it out. Otherwise, you are going to get a Dalmatian pony. Um, well, not necessarily. Some of them will stop, and but other ones will go on. I, I have made that mistake back when I was... <laughs> amateur <laughs> back in the day and um, anyone who's been a long time toy collector will tell you that the same goes for dolls know when to stop even if the mark is still there because the zit cream keeps on lightening past you washing it off all right so after that mini thing here we've got a bunch of little ponies 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 okay and we've got some other things that came in a pony lot and um, i'll bring those up just to show them because they were ponies lady didn't know uh favorite <laughs> we have about five of this one um how much was it 50 cents i'm pretty sure most of these yep yeah, that 50 cents on that mcdonald's rarity so we'll start off with rarity hello darlings she's got her hoof in the air again she sure likes sticking that hoof in the air this is star song from the pony city oh my gosh she's so awesome i love star song she's probably my favorite favorite generation three pony isn't she gorgeous she's singing in the mic i absolutely love 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 star song um awesome then we have a a rarity from the little blind bags and we have a pony town who is that is that sparkle works i think that sparkle works that looks like sparkle works to me again a pony towel she has a really, really dominant forehead, doesn't she? Okay, so in this slot, I got these little things too, which are horses <laughs> for 50 cents each that came with weird little carriages. So, um, yeah, I don't really collect these things. They came with these two, like, princess carriages. But I thought these were really, really cute. I don't know what these are. They're like puppy in my pocket, except pony in my... Po pony princess in my pocket. And they're both the same. So I don't know what they are. Um, I'll do some research. Otherwise, if you know what they are, let me know. But I just thought they were really, really cute. So I grabbed those for 50 cents. Who cares? So, oh, 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 this little tiny pony. I'm trying to get the tiny ones out. No, that's not tiny. Okay, this little one here. 
Okay, so a long time ago, my best friend sent me a My Little Pony ornament, um, and it had a My Little Pony looking into a wishing well. And I absolutely loved that ornament through kids because they were so small and stuff like that. The ornament got broken and it had a pony much like this on there, but um, instead the pony was throwing a coin into the wishing well. So I think this is a hair, maybe it's a twirlaroo or something, but this one for some reason reminds me of that. If you know what set this little pony comes from, if I haven't got it down below, let me know because it's absolutely adorable. I would say it's official because it's well made and well painted and it is one of the official ponies. I just have never seen this one before and I paid 50 cents for it. Who have we got next? Oh, we got some Twilight. We got a few. I get these in so many lots. Um, <laughs> I just give these back to the system. It's what will happen is I've picked up a pony lot at um, the markets and they just come in there. I know there was a huge bunch of ponies that the guy gave me a f uh, about a month back would have been. And I said, how much for the My Little Ponies? And he said, $2. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, and this was part of that, actually. Um, and I said, oh, okay, cool, $2 each. I'll get some. He said, no, you can have the whole lot for $2. I was like, $2 a lot. Yeah, I'll grab the lot. Um, oh, okay. And this was part of that lot, too, I think. Uh, I'm not into faker ponies. I actually know there is a big market for faker ponies um, on the Facebook toy identification group. There's people always looking for these faker ponies. I'm not into them and I'll recycle it back into the system. Okay, we have, oh, now that's the same symbol, same symbol as that little thing I was looking at before, is it? Oh, very similar, but not the same. Okay, so we've got a generation 3.5 here. She has a little paintbrush with a twirl on it. Rainbow like here, she's gorgeous. I love her. I don't see a price tag on her. She may have been part of that lot where the guy just told me I could take the entire lot for $2. Speaking of that lot, I know this Rainbow Dash was one of them because of her... I'm going to restore that. So, as I was saying before, the guy just told me to take the lot for 2 bucks, and this pony was one of them because I don't have this weird Rainbow Dash leg. Um, it's going to need to be airbrushed, but look at this symbol. Even the symbol looks weird. It looks, it looks like it's placed wrong. Is this a fake pony? No, it's not a fake pony. Um, okay, so when you get color gradients like this on the pony, um, I don't think I'm going to do it anytime soon, but when I get around to it, it's best to use an airbrush gun to fix it before you seal it. Um, so you get this beautiful sunset. But yeah, I've never, I don't think I have a Rainbow Dash. I can't say never because I have hundreds upon hundreds of ponies. I can't remember them all. <laughs> hundreds upon hundreds of toys and sometimes it takes me going back to the original collection especially if the collection is stored and then going through them and saying oh I do have that I brought it brand new actually um but yeah I don't remember this pony so I want this ramble dash what have we got what have we got we have a oh now is this one of the light up ones yeah I think this was part of the two dollar lot too yeah so we got a crazy tie light <laughs> So these came out, there was also a water based one where she was filled up with water and you could turn her around and glitter inside. I don't like, generally like things like this, especially the water ones, the seals always break on them. Do not put your water filled up ponies in storage unless you want to come back to a watery mess. Um, <laughs> so just be mindful of that. And like this, um, my tip is to always take the batteries out. If you leave the batteries in that, you're going to come back to a very corroded um, pony in the future. Very pretty. I like the translucent look on her. There's not much playability in that she is stuck this way, but she's kind of one of those ones that people want for their collections. Alrighty. Oh, okay. This pony I have without a haircut. This is the Wedding Bride Pony from Generation 1. Ah. So I've shown her before in a haul where she had um, marks all over her. Um, she has since been restored and put away. I should have brought her in to show her what she looks like. But this one has had a haircut. The tail's meant to be a lot longer than that. Uh, the mane looks fine. So I will restore her. But I might actually give her, and some people won't like this because I'm changing a generation one. But I might actually give her a lilac tail and mane instead like reroute this head with lilac i think that would look really pretty with that dove symbol so yeah that's a generation bride 
Alrighty, we got, oh, we got some of the big ones. So yeah, $4. We have a Cadence. Cadence is so cool and Cadence is so sparkly and she's dropping. So she needs a good scrub, but that's about it. As I said, I'm pretty sure I have all these big ponies. Um, I don't know why, but I, I think because they're big, people don't really hold on to them. They're kind of big space takers. Then we have two cadences, and you can see one with four dollars on, and the other one I think I got from a marketplace. I think I got it from a marketplace. Um, I think I have like five of this giant cadence. <laughs> Again, it's a white pony. Customizers love white pony bases, and they're just great. Okay, I've kind of moved them all a bit forward, so I'm not stretching too far. We'll start at the front here. Oh, um, I think this is again a pony I don't have. I might have her. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a dollar fifty. She was a dollar fifty. She is in desperate need of a scrub. I love, love, love the symbol, and it going right down her leg there. She has a lovely, pleasant smile on her face with these green eyes and rainbow hair. That is haystack hair that is going to need a lot of conditioner and a lot of soaking. But um, yeah, definitely love, love, love this pony. Even if I have her, I'm going to keep her because that's really attractive. Alrighty, next. Oh, Scootaloo. So this is, <laughs> this one was a dollar. <laughs> Obviously, she is not meant to have a tail like that. Maybe someone was trying to turn this Scootaloo into a Generation 4 Scootaloo. But um, yeah, this is what she looked like before she became animatized. <laughs> in G4. So I have a lot of Scootaloo. So this is just going to be a custom base of an orange for me because I really like this orange. She's quite clean too. Oh, we have another Chibi Rainbow Dash. She's had a haircut. Um, she have a price tag? A dollar. So again, this is a custom base. These will go into a separate box um, behind this big curtain here. There is a big box called the Bait Box, which um, the kids and I use to customize. Oh, we have a Shining Armor! Of course we brought Shining Armor brand new. There was no way we were not having a Shining Armor. But he is a great, great custom base because you don't get many boy ponies. So, uh, yeah. And he's white. White bases are just the easiest to paint on and change. So, uh, yeah. This guy was just brought to be changed. <laughs> Sorry, Shining Armor. We already have you. We have a Generation 1. So, this is a G1. Oh, my Lord. What was her name? Fire... Oh my goodness, or was it Sparkle? I can't remember. I'll have the name down below, but she is a Generation Glitter Pony. So her beautiful purple is slightly faded to a more muck brown, um, but her symbol is beautiful and she still looks cool, even as this muck brown. You can see the original color she was meant to be, I believe, if you just turn it slightly to get that purple but um yeah this is just something that happens with toys um as they over time still i was super duper great um picking her up for two dollars i was so so happy she's one of my favorites of this haul what have we got next oh it's the standing wisteria now there are different poses to generation three so that's just something to be mindful of i've already brought up a generation three wisteria that had the entire symbol down her leg this one um she is standing up and looking quite cute. I paid $3.50 for her because I find the standing up version of her a lot harder to find than the ordinary version, which is just, I think her head's just moving slightly in and her mouth is closed. So yeah, I paid a bit more for her. She is not getting changed in any sort of way. I just want her. All right, this little sweetheart. <laughs> looking very, very tropical. <laughs> kind of looking at the back she has had water play um, this is something to look for and this is why I say don't put your toys into water if you look slightly with oh, I don't know if it's going to show on camera um, you'll know what I mean oh, up here underneath the neck you can see it see that black line that's actually water mold now that is when a toy has been put and this happens with all plastic toys and why i say don't put your toys in water kids and this is why i cringe when i see people with lol dolls doing it um if you immerse your toy in water and you are in conditions where the water does not 
dry fast and I've seen heaps of water cabbage patch kids that have um, this condition inside it forms over time a mold under the plastic it's really disgusting it's this black slimy mold now to get rid of it um, basically I'm gonna have to give her a hot vinegar bath which makes sometimes them stink so then you have to give it a clean bath um, that's something I can do I did I got this one because I don't actually have her so, but I didn't really want to do the cleaning process. Okay, we have a egg head. Um, maybe one day I'll show how to do that just as tutorials, but there are other doll channels and toy channels that already have washing um, things in them and I get so busy I, <laughs> I can never concentrate on the videos. 50 cents for this little Applejack egg head. Applejack is sadly, um, very sadly, a my Little Pony, who I think doesn't get the credit she really deserves. <laughs> you know, just uh, Ab Applejack, all she is is a hard-working pony, and she doesn't can't fly like a Pegasus. She's not a unicorn, so she doesn't get the credit she needs. So I'm giving her this extra credit time, extra crammer time, because, you know, give some love to Applejack, even if she is an egghead. Okie dokie. So here is a big version of Rarity, I believe. I already have this pony. This pony is for trades and swaps. Um, it was $1.50 for this big one. Generation 3, a big one. I'm not going, I'm basically going to make, clean her up, make her look brand new and then wait for someone to come along who loves my little ponies and say hey I want to trade and they'll say I want that one and I'll say okay <laughs> okay we're getting the bag next all right so this bag was five dollars and of course I used my rule it was two dollars for the generation three you can see here with the swirl I actually have um a rare colored version of this pony somewhere um, I think it's actually in storage, um, a rare colored version of this pony, which um, a lot of people in the pony forums went all gaga for for a while. And then we have this Cadence here, who looks slightly pink, so I thought this version was meant to be white. I think this one was white, but she looks slightly burnt. So $3 for this one, which is a medium, and $2 for this one. And there's accessories in there, which is always cool. And some child has loved putting hair ties in her. She's actually got her shoes and a crown, so that's a bonus. Okay, we're getting down to it. We have for 50 cents. And I don't, did I review, did I buy Twilight as a sea pony brand new? I don't know. Um, I've done some sea pony reviews from brand new before, but there are, I do do toys off camera. So this is a 50 cents, um, sea pony twilight i'm not going to customize her if i have her because um these sea ponies i have actually not seen many of these sea ponies in the uh, markets or thrift stores yet if they become common i will but um to me especially in my country i don't think there was many delivered so i think they're quite rare to get in my country so i'm going to hold on to her and it's so cute i actually really love these egghead sea ponies so cool Oh, we have a Star Song. I definitely have this one. <laughs> I don't think there's much of Star Song that we don't have. Um, so this is a Generation 3.5, I believe it is. Um, babies, where they brought out like these babies having parties and little babies things that on their nappies is their cutie mark. It's just adorable. I love her. And even though I have like two of her, I'm not getting another one. All right, we have a Generation 3 Pinkie Pie variation. You can see she's a variation. She has a coat hanger down here. She has, um, she actually has eyeshadow on. She has the party symbols all over her head here. I'm pretty sure I have her, but I paid $2 for her. And I'm keeping her because I love this pony. Some of them I just love so much. We have a... Another standing up wisteria. <laughs> I just go crazy for the standing up wisteria, apparently. This, I think, was part of the $2 lot. I can't remember exactly, but um, she doesn't have any price tag on her. But standing up wisteria. I like her. We're down to the nitty gritty here. We have a Generation 3 Cheerilee. So, 
she is looking very smug, isn't she? <laughs> she doesn't look like a school teacher. She looks quite smug there, like, I know in Generation 4 that I'm a school teacher. I'm quite happy being a Generation 3 free and wild pony. <laughs> I love Cheerilee's, um, Cheerilee's colours. They are so pretty, and I'm going to keep her for swaps. What have we got? The last two of my little ponies. We have a McDonald's Fluttershy. We won't concentrate on that too much because it's a McDonald's toy. And then we have this little Generation 4 with a handbag one, which I don't actually think I need, but she needs a scrub. And that is my My Little Ponies. The only thing that I'm going to show on top of that was um, I got this Palace Pets for $4, brand new from the markets in her box still. And I just kind of threw her in here because she was awesome. <laughs> so I don't think I have anything too rare in this lot. Unlike my previous lot, I will put in the description below the lot which got a lot of attention. I think it's had like 300 views um, for the previous My Little Pony, if not a lot more. And um, yeah, I've got a lot more rare ponies in that lot than this one. But you can only do what the markets are selling. And if you get lucky, uh, my favorites from this haul are this Generation 1 Sparkle Pony. This Generation 1 Firefly. Don't worry, I'm not going to pick out all the Generation 1s. <laughs> so I don't think there's too many other ones. Um... Where is, where is she? Where is she? Okay, this one here uh, with the molding, even though I'm gonna have to do some work to restore her. She's one of my favorites. Okay, uh, who else am I gonna pick out? Um, eh, I have you in perfect condition. <laughs> so I won't pick you. Um, oh, this Twilight, cause I'm not sure if I have her. So this little Twilight Mer pony is my favorite. And one more. Who's going to be lucky last on Mama's favorite list? Okay, I found the last one. It was actually hidden off to the side here. The teeny tiny pony, which I cannot for the life of me remember seeing anywhere else. I really, really love her. So those are my favorites from this Marketplace thrift store haul. And um, I'm sorry if I'm speaking really fast. I'm trying to do it. I don't want to do three hours like I did with the, um, the Barbie the hawk doll <laughs> I sat here forever um so those are my favorites my four favorites let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite if you have any history on any of the ponies always write it down uh, there's a chance I, I may know it already there's a chance I might not know it um I always appreciate it it, it doesn't hurt to you know say your story if maybe some pony oh I had that when I was a kid and I remember my mother gave me this and sort of stuff these are memories for me and this is why I'm a toy collector. If you love My Little Ponies give me a <coughs> thumbs up please. If you love toys in general please subscribe. We love to open toys here. We love to share. I'll have down in the comments below other hauls that you can check out as well as the reference to the Strawberry Reef for your own identification purposes. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.